Minecraft Championship is the ultimate test of a player's ability in Minecraft, with only the best being able to push themselves to victory. So with MCC 17 around the corner, I want to find out who is the best of the best. The 10 contestants that rise above the rest. This is the top 10 Minecraft Championship players ever. But before we begin, this is done on the official average point score of each player, so don't get upset if your favourite isn't on this list. Instead, let me know in the comments section below who your top 10 would be. And whilst you're down there, please like and subscribe. I'm on my way to 1,000 subscribers, so it would mean the world to me if you did. Anyway, on with the video. Starting off in 10th position is Kratzy, or Kritzy, or Dave. Always go with Dave. That's right. Big Man Dave is in at number 10, back on this list once again. With his incredible PvP skills and team working ability, he's very underrated for his skill level. He's amassed a total point average of 2728, however only winning the tournament once in MCC1. He might be top 10, but he'll have to keep on fighting to keep his position. In ninth position, we have Illumina. Not changing since last tournament, we have Illumina, the speedrunning king. With amazing performances in every tournament he's taken part in, of course he's on this list. With a 2,780 points average, with one official tournament win in MCC 13. However, if his point score isn't as high as you might expect, this is because unfortunately his performance in MCC Pride can't be counted, due to this being a for fun charity event. However, he was number one in individual in this event and won the tournament, but I think we'll see him much higher in the list in the future. Now on to 8th place where we find Vicstar123. The living legend, Vicstar is a god no matter what game he's playing, and in MCC it's no different. With one victory in MCC3, you may be surprised to see Vic still on this list. However, he's been to four finals in the six tournaments he's taken part in, and one of those was with Tommy in it, and we know how much of an achievement that is. With 2,949 points overall, he still remains legendary. Coming in at seventh position is Puns. We have another underrated star in Puns, an incredible PvPer, so much so that Dream refuses to let him join Manhunt. Puns continues to climb the leaderboards after a heroic performance in MCC 16. However, despite this, he's only won one event, even though he's been in three finals already, amassing a total point score of 2,971 points, just missing out on 3,000. However, I expect Puns to also be much higher in this list in the future. And now we get to 6th position, where we have Sapnap. Dropping back down the leaderboards this time for Sapnap, however, despite this, he's still incredible, managing to still get top 10 even with quite a weak team. Nevertheless, he always wants to win, and with two victories so far, both with Dream in MCC 11 and MCC 15, I'm sure we'll see more victories for him soon. With a score of 3006, he is only 10 points behind. 5th place, Dream. Back where he belongs at the head of the Dream team, we find the Green Boy himself, with 4 victories overall in MCC 8, 11, 15 and 16. He's now tied with H-Bomb for the most wins ever, and with two in a row at that, his next task will be finally to secure number 5 and get that brand new coin to add to his collection. He sits on 3,016 points, not even having to cheat to do so. And in at 4th position is Fruitberries. 
After a disappointing MCC 15, Fruit bounced back in 16, securing an amazing score and pulling his team to the final, on his birthday no less. Despite an agonising loss in Dodgebolt, he's proven himself to be one of the best, having won MCC 6 and the legendary MCC 9, and having an almighty score of 3029, which also means that between 8th and 4th we only have 100 points, which I mean wow, I can't wait for the next tournament. But that being said, I expect we might see Fruit even higher up in the future. And talking of which, before we hit our top three, I want to give honourable mentions to Fundy, Tapple, Mess, Filza and Hbomb, who are all just outside the top 10 and could easily break back into it in the future. We head into third place with Quig. Nothing seems to shake Quig from third, and that's despite being on difficult teams almost all the time. He's always proven to be one of the best around, with a score of 3,151 and victories in MCC2 and MCC5. He is formidable, also having the record for the most individual wins of all time. Hopefully we see another victory for him in the future. And in second place, we have Technoblade. The king of MCC, Technoblade has an average of 3,241, having won MCC 4 and 8. And it's also the only player to have never finished outside the top 10. But on a more important note, obviously Technoblade has recently revealed that he has cancer, a horrific disease that could affect anyone. On a personal note, Technoblade was the first modern Minecraft YouTuber that I began to watch, way back when he was on 50k. And despite the millions of subscribers and hundreds of new Minecraft content creators, he's still my favourite. With his streams being the one that I tuned into whenever he takes part in MCC, no question. All my thoughts are with Techno, his family and friends at this time, and I wish a speedy and as painless as possible recovery for him. Technoblade never dies. And with that, we finally reach our number one, which is of course, Pizza Hut. Despite a bad MCC 16, Pete is still top of this list, with this being the only time he's been outside the top five, which is crazy. He has an average score of 3,340, which is 99 more points than Technoblade, and almost 200 more than anyone else, having won MCC 3, 7 and 10. A god at all forms of games, he truly is the best of the best, but we will have to see what MCC 17 brings to the future. Maybe we might see a new champion. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. It would mean everything to me if you did. Hopefully soon, I'll hit the big 1k. You can also check out this video on the top 10 teams of all time, as well as this one on the recent top 50 players. Also check out my Twitch, Discord and Twitter. Links in the description. Thanks for watching, as always, and peace.